Welcome. Welcome to my desert home. Anyhow, please, no trespassing. And remember, beware of old poop. And if you wonder what old poop means, look up Cycle Tunes. Old poop. And think of it's February 2nd. Snow's almost all gone. 19 degrees. And here's my babies. Hey, hello. Yeah, that's a good boy. And so is that big gray one. Hey, good boys. Hey, get off of her. That chick's too young to fry. Okay. Anyhow, coming up towards springtime. Oh yeah, you know, it's February 2nd. This is Groundhog Day. And uh, if I was to be a believer in that stuff, I would say we're gonna have a longer winter. <laughs> but that is a superstition. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm, I'm eager for this winter to be over. Oh, by the way, I have some eggs here. And uh, I'm going to give them to the cats. Let's see. I hope they don't try to get into that thing. Okay. Anyhow. Let's Looks like I need more cat food. Yeah. Definitely need more chicken feed. I'm gonna have to get into that in the town tomorrow. Get, get some more of both. Come on, move back. Move back. Oh, you were checking that, that out, huh? Okay. Here's the problem. I don't have a tripod for this GoPro. Yeah. I only got two hands, too. My screen went black and I don't know what I'm seeing. Yeah. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on. Come here. Kind of divide it up. Anyhow, there you go. Now, if I had a tripod, this would be easier to show you. I'm going to have to take my homemade scoop out. And dump this in. Come on. Hard to do with only two hands. Okay. Let's get him some corn. And uh, put that in there. And we're all ready to go to the chicken coop. Okay. Mm. Put that in there for easy carrying. And here we go. Say my screen goes black. And I only got two hands. And I have to bump it with my nose to see when I'm Well, you can't say filming because <laughs> there's no film involved. Videoing, videoing. Okay, anyhow, here we go. 
I know there's a lot of sun over there. I've just pointed down to the ground. Sun's just coming up over the mountain. About seven something, right before 7.30. Anyhow. Let's take care of these critters here. Alrighty. Maybe I should have used my head head thingy. And <laughs> my head thingy. My headband with the mount on it. Okay. Ooh. Give him some of that. Pull that. I can do this one-handed, I think. There you go. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. There's, there's one hen. There she is. Yeah. One hen and a rooster still in there. What are you, low on the pecking order? Okay. No. Okay. Both these four by fours are there to keep critters out. I saw cats going through that. She's getting in there before. And every once in a while, this thing kind of gets warped a little bit. And I think maybe they could get to there. So, okay. Dark in here. I know. Uh, it's a little over freezing, so and I'm going to need to give them some water today, but I'm going to turn off the heater. My uh, heating bill was atrocious. I got that. Uh... Okay. I don't know if you can even see that. My screen's back again. Alrighty. Definitely need to get them some more. That won't even last two days. Okay. There you go. Whew. Let me put this up here so I can take it inside. And uh, I usually put it right there. The thing is that uh, it's usually full of eggs when I put it right there. Well, not full, but you know, little by little it fills up. Maybe three or four days to fill that bucket with the eggs. And now I'm going to open the gate. Just in case anybody wants to stop by and bring me some packages. I know I don't have any, but like I say, I got my, uh, my son and his little family. And that's the reason one of the electricity bills so dang high. I am starting to understand why it's a comic, what would you call it, trope or meme? I don't know. With the old, the dad always shouting about the lights on. There, see, I can't do that one-handed. So, this'll be a do. That, that's my broken French for goodbye. Okay, we're out here. At the old sheepfold. 
standing in the sheep chute. Gonna do a little Bible study. Okay. Let me see if I can get some light on that. His divine power has given us everything we need. This is uh, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness. Through our knowledge of him who was called by us by his own glory and goodness. Through these, he has given us his very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by evil desires. Now, I'm going to go to another one. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Okay, so you want you want the, the promises of God? You got to believe that he exists. And not only that, you got to have faith, which is putting that belief into action. Now, the funny thing is, okay, I was 18 years old, and uh, I, I, was going, I, was, I was going nowhere with my life. Didn't have any purpose. I, just, I you know, just started sniffing glue when I was 13, gasoline too anything I could get my hands on that would that'd get me out of this world. And of course, in the drinking beer and hanging around the, the guys in auto shop. And then the hippies came in after a couple of years of high school and marijuana and LSD and yeah. And uh, I was I was desperate for something to change. And one day I picked up this Bible in my bedroom and I said, Jesus, please help me, please help me, just please. Oh, I remember what I said. My exact words were, Jesus, save me. And then I I said, There's no Jesus. There's no God. I threw that Bible <laughs> across the room. A couple of weeks later, I was I was out of marijuana and I wanted to go buy some more. And I said, no, I'm not going to do it. But pretty soon, here I am getting in the car and I'm driving into town. And I saw a group of my friends in the park. Friends. People I got high with. And I walked up to them and there was a, there was a girl there. First thing I heard was John 3:16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall have everlasting life. And it made me mad for some reason. Anyhow, the gist of it is, is that that's where I found out that there was a group of hippies who had come to Christ and stopped using drugs and were actually kind of happy or something. <laughs> Anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. He's given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of Him. Well, that's just the beginning of it, though. Believing and asking him to help you. It's just the beginning. Through these, he has given us his very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption in the world caused by 
evil desires. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith. Add some stuff. Add goodness. You know, just trying to do right. And to goodness, knowledge. And knowledge. Knowledge is reading the Bible and asking God to show you what it means. And to knowledge, self-control. You can't do every little thing that goes through your head. And to self-control, perseverance. Keep at it. Keep at it. Don't give up. And to perseverance, godliness. Try to try to find out. What do you want? Huh? What do you want? What do you want? And try to find out who God is and how he is. And try to get a little of that in your life. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, love. Come on, buddy. Come on. I'm trying to do something here, bub. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure and if you keep at it if you persevere at it it's gonna gonna increase they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ yes but if anyone does not have them he is nearsighted and blind and forgotten that he has been cleansed from his past sins so it's more than just doing that origi original step of faith and asking him to save you. And then, uh, you know, you got to do all everything. You got to, you got to uh, read the Bible. You got to learn what it says. You got to, you got to make a public confession of faith through baptism in His name. You got to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And I'm not going to tell you everything about that right now. Yeah. But you've got to grow in grace. Grow in love. Grow in the knowledge. This is the only thing that's going to give you the knowledge. Study in the Bible. Study in the Bible. So... That's it. That's all I got to say today. Got to say that uh, Jesus Christ is God manifest in the flesh. And the fullness of the Godhead dwelleth in him bodily. So, if you want to live forever, if you want to have growing love in your heart, you want to overcome you got to keep at it keep talking to them keep studying the Bible keep letting them letting them take over put love in your heart God Jesus told us to love one another he told us to love our enemies too yeah that's the part where people fall down mostly, I think. Yeah. This is God's creation, ain't it pretty? I love looking at those mountains when they got snow on it. Not too happy about when the snow's right here on the ground and stays too long, but it doesn't stay very long around here. A few days, weeks at the most. We're halfway through winter halfway through winter spring's coming up everything's gonna be well at least not if not grass at least some of these weeds will pop up <laughs> okay god bless you all and thank you for watching goodbye <laughs>